friends. Welcome back to the Proverbs 31 Ministries Morning Show. My name is Megan Ryan, and I'm here joined by my co-host, Nicole Moses. Hello, everyone. So glad that you're here and joining us today. Yes. So before we get started on today's show, we did want to take a few minutes just to um, acknowledge all that's going on um, in our country, especially um, in light of yesterday's shooting in Texas, as well as the one in Buffalo on May 14th. Um, so before we get started on our show, we just know that there's a lot to process and um, grieve, and that is not something we should shy away from. And so before we get started on our show, Nicole, I'm going to ask if you would mind praying yes. for these families and just for us as we um, head into our show today. Yes, I would love to. Let's pray. Lord, um, I confess that I don't have the words to pray. Um, I don't I struggle with um, what happened in Texas and what happened in Buffalo. Um, Lord, and I just want to come to you and confess that I'm hurting and that I'm confused and I have questions, God. Um, but Lord, I just pray for the families of, um, of all the victims, God, that wherever they are right now and in the middle of their grief, in the middle of the, their mourning and weeping, that you would make your presence known to them, God, that they would feel a rush of peace come over them, Lord, um, and that they would know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are with them and that as you are weeping too, Lord. Um, I pray just for our nation. I pray that as we all... Um, process these tragic events or that you're with us too that even if we do have questions that we don't stop there we don't stop with our questions but that we seek answers um, and we go to your word to get those answers um, we know that your word doesn't return empty lord and that we are holding on to that promise um, but we thank you for being a good father no matter what and that um, you are still in charge and you are still um, making good out of all the tragedy and all the hard things that we face or that you are so good that even you can bring um, light out of this darkness. So we thank you. We love you um, in Jesus name. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, so while we know this is incredibly difficult to process, um, it can also feel like where do we start? And so um, a while ago, actually, we put together a free resource called uh, when it feels like nothing can help, what to pray in the hard moment. So if you are like us and wondering, I don't even know where to start. Um, we put together these prayers straight from scripture for you to read through. Um, and we'll put a link to that in the comments. It's a free resource for you to download um, and take with you wherever you go. Yes. And we also have that resource available in Spanish, which I think is really cool. And so um, we will also put the link for that in the comments as well. Yes. And so um, as we get into our show today, uh, Nicole. Yes. Guess what is about to be here? What is it, Megan? My favorite season of the whole year. <laughs> summer is upon us, friends. Yes. Megan's such a summer girl. If you couldn't tell, she's coastal <laughs> chic right now. <laughs> um, and so we would love to hear uh, as you are getting ready for summer, maybe you have kids and they're getting ready to get out of school or just your routine is changed. Uh, maybe you have a trip planned or something fun. We'd love to know in the comments what you are looking forward to about this summer. Uh, Nicole, do you have anything this summer you're looking forward to? Um, well, my birthday and my wedding anniversary falls in the summer, two days apart. Oh. So we usually, my husband and I usually do something big and fun. We have nothing set in stone yet, but I definitely have some ideas. <laughs> what about you, Megan? You that doing? is really fun. So I am from Florida. So hence why I love the, the coast. Um, and the beach is a big, just everything about summer reminds me of the beach. And yes. so uh, this summer, actually a group of my friends, we're going to go on a trip together, oh, so uh, which is really exciting. And so um, we're just very much so looking forward to summer this year. Um what else is happening this summer, Nicole? Oh, something really fun. It's all of our favorite event of the year. And that is our She Speaks conference. Yes. We're so excited. It's going to be so, so fun. So if you don't know what She Speaks is, it's happening July 14th through 16th. And it is a conference for women just like you, just like us, who are 
trying to be good stewards of what the Lord has given them. Um, so whether you are thinking about wanting to publish a book one day or start a blog or a podcast, or maybe you just love hosting Bible study in your living room um, or sharing what God is teaching you on social media, we have put together this conference that's going to give you the most um, tools and resources you need to kind of confidently and effectively use those gifts that God has given you, maybe even figure out what those gifts are. And so we are super, super excited mm -hmm. about that this summer. It's yeah. one of our favorite things. Yeah. We get questions all the time asking how do I grow a platform? How do I start a blog or have a presence on social media? And so we get it. Proverbs 31, we started at zero too. And so we're just so excited to share practical tips um, for how to do it. And I think it's so exciting and such an honor to be a see so many women pursuing the purpose that God has for their lives. Yes. And with that, we also know that it can be kind of difficult to know what, how do I know what God's calling me to do? What is my purpose? Yeah. Um, and so we invited one of our friends who's also no stranger to yeah. She Speaks. Yes. Amanda Bacon is joining us today and she's going to walk us through three steps to figuring out God's purpose in your life. So Amanda, are you with us? Yeah. Hi guys. Hi Megan. Hi, Hi Nicole. Hi. Amanda, before we get into this interesting topic that I'm so excited about, will you just let our friends know a little bit about you and what you do here at Proverbs 21? Sure, absolutely. So I'm Amanda Bacon, and I'm so happy to be on the show with you guys. I think this is my third appearance on the morning show, and love I always it. love um, to be invited to be on the show. So I'm a woman, first and foremost, who loves God. I love his word. I love to read a lot. Um, I'm also a writer and a podcaster, and I've been married to my husband, Jeremy, for 23 years, and we have eight children, ages nine to 21. Uh, so that's a whole thing in itself. Um, but also, I've been on staff at Proverbs 31 Ministries for over five years now, and I work on Lisa Turker's team as a content creator. And if you don't know Lisa in real life, she's as wonderful and as genuine and as fun and wise as she seems online or at her speaking engagements or in her books. Um, so I get to help Lisa with the various projects she's working on, including books, resources, different teachings and videos. Uh, I facilitate the early, early reader groups that we run for each of her new books, and I make sure her website stays up to date. And I also have this whole thing going with this big spreadsheet where I keep her content organized in our files, and that is a large undertaking in itself, among other things. Um, it's pretty much a dream job for me. Yes, and you do it so very well. I feel like we would fall apart without you around mm -hmm. here. Um, and if you guys don't listen to Amanda's podcast, it is the most soothing thing <laughs> I've ever heard, just like listening to her voice and her bring truth and scripture. Um, so check it out if you haven't. Amanda, we're going to talk today about God's purpose for our lives. So I would just love to know what are some things that we can be thinking through to know what God has for us? Right. So that's the age old question, right? We all want to know what is God's purpose or God's will for our lives. And of course, we cannot answer that question right here in thir under 30 minutes on this show. But if I were to give the very simplest answer as we get going here, I'd say as a foundation, number one, having a relationship with Jesus, um, knowing him, seeking him, uh, believing in him, reading your Bible and praying. And as you pray and as you walk and live, um, walk in the spirit and letting the Holy Spirit guide you and direct your steps. And that's like the simple answer. That's like the foundation of all the things we're going to talk about here. Um, but that simple answer doesn't always seem so simple at all. So let's dig a little bit deeper. And when I'm personally wondering what my purpose is, because that changes in different seasons, there's some that are... Uh, always going to be there. You know, we are to love others. We are to forgive there. There's just so many things that are going to be like longstanding for the rest of our lives, but it changes in different seasons. And when I'm wondering, I look to Romans 12 and that chapter among so many other places in scripture uh, is where God gives us directives for our lives. And I've heard it said that the word of God is the will of God. And I love that. I love that statement. And Romans 12 
kind of gets us going in the direction of our purpose. So I'm going to read for us just the first two verses, but I'd love for you guys to read the rest of Romans 12, maybe today after this or sometime, um, because it says so much about um, our purpose and God's will for us. So Romans 12 verses one through two say this, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by the testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. So that's kind of the start there. Um, so I do hope you'll take some time to read that but we're not left alone to wonder. God's word speaks to this in so many different places. So don't forget to open your Bibles and be in prayer. So next, what I have for us today to talk through are three simple questions we can ask either ourselves, others, or God to help us follow his purpose for our lives or figure it out. So number one, I would say, ask yourself, what are the gifts, strengths, and talents I've been given by God, and how might I use them to bring him glory and benefit others? So let me read that one again. What are the gifts, strengths, and talents I've been given by God, and how might I use them to bring him glory and benefit others? So what do I love doing? What am I naturally good at? What have I grown to be good at? What have I learned? Do I have the spiritual gift of discernment? Am I a teacher at heart? Your gifts and strengths and talents are rarely big and showy. And I'm going to talk about a couple of mine that are pretty like under the radar um, because most often our gifts and strengths and talents aren't huge and sparkly and gigantic for all to see when we walk in the grocery store. They're pretty small and quiet with a potential though for a big impact. So for years, I've been told as Megan actually just said a few minutes ago, that my voice is calming and that people feel at peace uh, when they hear me speak. My kids would probably beg to differ because they, you know, of course, hear the mom voice as well. Um, but I've taken that to heart for many years. And in the last two years, I started a podcast called At Night Prayers and Meditations for Peaceful Rest for you to listen to as you go to sleep. Because I know that when many of us lay down or we're getting ready for bed, we have a million worries on our minds, right? Um, and so in that show, I get to read scripture and I get to just kind of put together some thoughts that we might be having about when we're stressed or worried or exhausted, or if we've said the wrong things with our words, you know? And so I love putting those together. So that's one way. Another way I get to use my words, and these aren't big and showy ways. I get to read scripture on stage um, before our sermons on Sundays, um, a couple times a month. And it's seemingly small, um, this gift of mind of using my voice and words, but it's been a blessing to others. And it's been so special to me to get to do something um, that isn't a big, it's not a big public gift. It's, it's pretty small, but what it does is it, it gives me a sense of purpose and God made my voice and maybe the sound of my voice a certain way. So it would bless others. And that is really cool. Another thing that's pretty small is I've also been given the spiritual gift of mercy. And that's just something I figured out through the years. I didn't take a test that told me that it's just something I've learned about myself. Um, and God has given me chance after chance to use this for his glory, whether it's being a safe place for abused women to confide in. That happens quite often. Um, being a foster mom and then adopting three children uh, or just giving to people who have need um, that I hear of. And I can use this God-given gift to take action and bear one another's burdens as the apostle Paul talks about in Galatians 6, 2. And my spiritual gift of mercy is not big either, um, but I pray that God will use it to make an impact. And I think he is. That's so good, Amanda. I love what you said about um, paying attention to what people say to you about you, about your voice. I think for me, that was big too growing up. My teachers always said that I was a great writer and great reader, and it's something I loved, but I never um, took it in enough to really consciously think, oh, I want to do something with this, but now I write content for my job. And so I think that that's a really cool thing um, that we can do is think about what has people told me about myself that um, has been like a recurring thing. And then you can kind of go from there. 
Well, what is another thing that we can do to figure out our purpose? So first we can, you know, consider like you were just saying, what are our strengths? What are our gifts? What are our talents? And then the second thing would be to actually ask a person and get brave enough to ask someone who knows you and who loves you, what do you see in me? And, um, you know, like I said before, people have said my voice is calming, but actually ask people more specifically, what do you see in me that could be used for God's glory? And because sometimes those who know us and, and make sure you choose someone who also loves you, um, but they see us differently and sometimes more accurately than we see some parts of ourselves uh, while we might downplay or judge our own potential as like meaningless or dumb, uh, they might see it so differently and help steer us in the right direction. Yeah, that's really good. I feel like that takes you out of like your own head as well. Like you said, I can be really harsh. Am I really good at that? I don't know. Um, is I doing this for the right motives or whatever? So I feel like it's good to ask people around us what our natural strengths might be. Right, exactly. Um, I've had a friend even say, like you say things and word things in a way I could never say it myself. So thank you for saying that in a way that helps me. It, that's exactly how I feel. And I feel seen. And based on that, that's another way I learned of the ways I was gifted and part of my purpose. So I learned pretty early on that I had the gift of using words and writing to point others to Jesus and help them feel seen and not invisible. Mm, that's good. Yeah. And I think it's important to, like you said, ask someone who loves you. Mm -hmm. I think something Lisa Allen would always says is don't ask the friend with the ministry of discouragement. Um, go to a friend who really loves you and is very encouraging um, and can sort of speak that into you. Well, what is another thing we can think through when it comes to finding our purpose? Yeah, I think lastly, um, probably the most important question we could ask is actually asking God, um, like on the daily, would you show me why you made me the way you made me and lead me on the path towards your purpose for me in this current season? Because like we said before, there are some purposes and God's will for your life that are constant in the life of a believer, but, but in the life of us as a human, as individuals that can change based on the season. Um, and asking God like, okay, so I know, maybe I know my talents and gifts and strengths, but I don't know what they're for. I think that's kind of where we get stuck is we know some of the things, um, you know, that maybe we're good at. And, and for you viewers watching, I would love for you in the comments to maybe just type in one strength or one gift or one talent or just something. Like I said, the gift of mercy, that's not big and showy, but it's something. I would love for you to type in the comments, maybe just one thing, either that someone else has pointed out or that you know solidly about yourself. Um, and then we ask God, would you show me why you made me the way you made me and lead me on the path towards your purpose for me in this current season? Yeah, that is really, really good. And I think, you know, in seasons, I can look back at that I was frustrated because I didn't know what am I supposed to do with this gift? Or, you know, I thought it looked like this one way, but it's actually turned out to look another way. And I think when I finally kind of stepped back and said, all right, Lord, how do you want to use this? He may not have told me immediately, but I can look back and see how he was using it. And honestly, the letting go really opened up opportunities that I didn't even know were there. So that's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amanda, how might She Speaks be a great step for someone who is just encountering their purpose or they feel like they are more ready than ever to really take the next step forward? Yeah. Oh, boy. I have such a warm spot in my heart for our She Speaks conference. Um, it was my dream for five straight years to get to attend. And in those years, I waited we were in the middle of having babies. Um, I gave birth to five of our children and then receiving children uh, that I had mentioned we adopted three children. Um, so, you know, that got us up to eight children and it just wasn't feasible. Plus I lived in Alaska at the time. And so I lived in Alaska for 30 years. Uh, but in 2013, I attended She Speaks for the first time, flew from Alaska to Charlotte, North Carolina, and attended for the first time. And it was the next best step for me as a writer, speaker, uh, content creator. Um, I was even a podcaster back then, too. Um, and my connections to my writer friends, who are still dear friends of mine today, started there. Um, relationships with those in the publishing industry 
who eventually became my literary agent and book editor. I met both of those at She Speaks. And that has just been key for me. It's the place to be for Christian writers and speakers is what I'll say. You will feel so seen, so understood in ways that you've not yet experienced. Um, maybe you're the only writer you know. That was kind of my, I think I knew one other person who wrote on a blog back then. Um, and it was just so valuable to me to be in the room with people who got it. Um, Plus, you'll learn so much that will help you as you help others with your words. Uh, this year will be my 10th She Speaks. I cannot believe it. And as always, I just can't wait. And um, I hope you guys will join us. And I look forward to having you. Yeah, it really is one of the most fun things we get to do at Proverbs. So if that is all interesting to you, we have spots available left in our online experience. We're going to put a link in the comments. It's July 14th through 16th. Um, and we've got lots of fun things in store planned um, throughout the conference. And we hope that you will join us. Yes. Well, Amanda, thank you so much for being here, for answering our questions. And friend, we hope this was encouraging to you and that God will use this um, to bring you on the path to your purpose. Well, be sure to join us on our next show on June 9th, where we will discuss truths you can stand on when you begin to question who you are. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, everyone.